Discuss Evan Bernstein, the New York Regional Director for the Anti-Defamation League, and Wajahat Ali. Uh, Evan, first to you. Nine anti-Semitic uh, incidents in just the last few days. Yes. Um, take us inside the community. What are the conversations and how is this changing daily life? You know, really, if you look back just in the last two and a half weeks, it starts with the New Jersey, uh, Jersey City uh, murders that took place, that are domestic terror, anti-Semitic. And then you go into what took place last week where we had a uh, spate of, uh, of anti-Semitic attacks. And now here at the end of Hanukkah, you had what took place in Muncie. And all these, the common denominator here is that the Orthodox, ultra-Orthodox community have been targeted. Mm -hmm. There's a tremendous amount of fear. There is a daily life that's been completely disrupted. And there, there's an inability right now for people to reset themselves. They don't know when the next attack's gonna come. They don't know when they're gonna be able to practice openly and freely without fear. And, you know, you have a lot of mothers and fathers right now in the conversations that I've had that never expected to have these kind of conversations with their children about safety in this way and, and having to answer questions that no parent should have to answer to an eight or nine year old. It's really devastating for the community and they're reeling. Wajahat, well, uh, the statistics from the ADL show that anti-Semitic incidents soared between 2015 and 2018. What do you think is behind this? Yeah, so whenever you see hate and bigotry mainstreamed in American Europe, uh, anti-Semitism usually is flourishing. And if you step back for a moment, Victor, anti-Semitism, these conspiracy theories, aren't unique to any geography or to America or to any political party. There is a conspiracy theory, unfortunately, that has always... Uh, blamed Jews and made them the victims that say that they are part of a global kapal. They are in power and they're trying to weaken society. And if you see the 2018 midterm elections, I just want to give you one example. You see Donald Trump in particular and the Republican Party helped mainstream an anti-Semitic white supremacist conspiracy theory that says that George Soros, a Jewish Hungarian billionaire, is responsible for funding a caravan of invaders of immigrants and rapists and criminals and Muslims. Well, what happened just a few weeks after that in November 2018? The worst domestic terror attack against Jews in this country. Robert Bowers attacked the Tree of Life synagogue, killed 11 people, said all Jews must die, and said he must attack the invaders. And then you saw a few months later, he inspired another terrorist in San Diego. And then you saw the globalization of this, that same conspiracy theory that says that Jews are part of this global power trying to weaken Western society. That was a conspiracy theory of the Christ Church killer when he killed 50 Muslims. So what we're witnessing is anti-Semitism mm. driving white supremacy and the mainstreaming of these conspiracy theories predominantly by the Republican Party, specifically Donald Trump, I'm sorry to say this, and the right-wing party, where honestly now, Victor, it is now mainstream. It's not a dog whistle. You literally hear on Fox News, on right-wing radio, Republican uh, senators say George Soros. George Soros is responsible. Rudy Giuliani, the attorney, of Donald Trump recently said what? Yeah. That George Soros is supporting Mary Ivanovich. And I want to say this, Fiona Hill in her testimony said that this George Soros conspiracy theory is the modern prodigals of the elders of Zion. And she's absolutely correct. Yeah, these words mean something. Evan, to you, the, the uh, rabbi, they're from the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. 11 people were killed uh, last year there. Spoke to CNN this morning. Watch this. It made me sort of wonder, I don't recall them um, selling licenses to have open hunting season on Jews, but it sure can make Jews feel that way. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, you were with him uh, earlier this evening. Yes. It's called for uh, quadrupling from 90 million to 360 million uh, grants, security grants to, to houses of worship. Is that the right start? I think it's the right start for all. We need all elected officials, especially at the level of, of the federal level, to come up with plans of action, fund those plans, and implement those plans. And I think it's great that Senator Schumer is doing that, but I want to see other elected officials also targeting other areas of need with funding. We need to get to more young people. We're seeing the normalization of anti-Semitism and hate. We need to do more proactive work on the ground working with kids. We're seeing a rise of anti-Semitic incidents in K-12 schools and on college campuses. We need to do this earlier with young people. We need to get federal funding to do that. We need to also do more with law enforcement, give them the resources they need to be able to respond to these kind of incidents that are taking place and get them trained on how to respond at the highest level. They need to be supported as well. So I think it's wonderful what, what Senator Schumer is doing I think it's but it's more important that others follow his lead and also target the areas of need that we're seeing all right Evan Wajahat thank you both